guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about something that I was inspired to talk about by one of you guys' comments. I think it was in my Will I Buy It video where I had mentioned something to do with a brand and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of them exploiting XYZ. And then somebody had commented saying, oh my gosh, I'm sick of, you know, NARS talking about orgasm all the time. XYZ and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be such a fun video So I went on like a little quest to think of all the brands that like just have those Products or those themes that they just keep going back to and back to and back to and they just like Whatever you can think of, you know, and so I had gotten my list going and then I was like wow like I know for sure there's more but I couldn't think of anything and then um, Angelica said something in a will I buy it video her latest one. She was like Oh, and I'm so sick of uh, the peach trend, or I'm sick of the of the fruit, the peach, or something. She was talking about Too Faced, or so, I don't know what she was talking about. Anyway, it just like set off a like a little alarm in my head, which made me think of all the themes that Too Faced is just like beat to death, like a dead horse. Like it can't be any deader than like the way Too Faced has handled it. So sorry, that was a little morbid. I didn't mean to offend anyone. Um, it's a saying, okay? So anyway, so yeah, Too Faced is probably the biggest offender. They're definitely on my list multiple times. But basically today I just wanted to talk about like themes or like makeup trends that brands needed to stop or like makeup, um, like brands within the brand. So I feel like Orgasm by NARS um, is honestly its own brand. Um, everyone knows that Orgasm is a blush by NARS if you didn't you're in the very small minority of people that don't know about this blush. Um, it has a controversial name. It's kind of like a universally flattering blush. It was actually one of the first blushes I purchased from Sephora because the sales associate recommended it to me. And it's a very like peachy, goldeny blush. So very easy for anyone to pull off, you know, from tan skin to light skin. It's like the best selling blush, I think, at Sephora. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Oh, it was champagne pop. That's what I was talking about. I just looked at my list. So yeah, NARS Orgasm. Like, they have done Orgasm Lipstick, Orgasm Body Highlighter, Orgasm Super Size. Like, they really beat Orgasm to death. So, really wish they would move on from Orgasm and start creating different products. And then Champagne Pop, which was, again, the inspiration to this video was um, because they had done, like, a Champagne Pop anniversary collection. And this is not the first time Becca has done that because they did one... Was it last year or like maybe the third anniversary? They did that limited edition champagne pop with like the champagne bottle and had the gold packaging and it was very fabulous. And I'm pretty sure like the girl that cuts my hair um, bought it and bought backups of it because she loves champagne pop so much. And I think people think that maybe someday it'll get discontinued. I don't really know. Jacqueline Hill doesn't seem to be making any money off of it anymore because they're not using her face. But to celebrate the five-year anniversary I think it was they did like um what did they even do they had like a body liquid version um they did I think they've done like a champagne pop um spin-off and like mixed it with other highlighters in their collection and then they did prosecco pop like it just never ends so really wish the whole champagne situation would just like go away find something new like we're over it one i thought well i have quite a few but let's throw in some Too Faced. so i thought of the Too Faced chocolate bar um so that brand or like the chocolate bar series is like it started with their you know was it called the milk chocolate i don't even know what that palette's called it's just called a chocolate bar right and then they did the light one that was called milk chocolate then they did the pink one was that called sweet chocolate? I don't know, strawberry? I don't know, they've done so many. They did the white chocolate chip. They did the dark chocolate chip. They've done a lot of chocolate. And then they did the bronzers. Um, so Too Faced has definitely taken the chocolate situation to a whole nother level and I need them to find something new um, and do something else to refer, like when it comes to referring to brown shades. Like 
We get it. It all looks like chocolate. Chocolate is a nicer way of saying brown. Different shades of brown. We get it. Um, so not so much in love with that whole situation anymore. The other thing I've heard so many people say is that they wish Morphe would stop doing the 35 palettes. Everyone's kind of sick of the giant palettes and so they're constantly still doing like the 35s and then they are doing 39s if I'm not mistaken because the James Charles palette I think has 39 pans on it because it's called the 39 something and then the new purple palette is a 39. So yeah, I wish Morphe would just like curate their palettes more, really like narrow it down. I personally passed on the purple palette because I feel like the It's My Pleasure palette is the same thing, just like smaller, easier for me to understand, like crease shade, brow shade, like lid shade, like it's all there. Like we don't need 39 options of purple right now. Um, even though I was definitely one of the people that loved the, you know, 35-0. I was all over the 35-0, um, and I just, I just think it's time to retire the whole 35 series. So let's go back now to another offense from Too Faced, and that is definitely their Clover collection. First of all, to like a regular human being that doesn't watch any YouTube, like, what is Clover? Like, who is Clover? Clover is Jared Blandino's dog, and I think it's like a chihuahua, and don't get me wrong, I love dogs, but I don't love the Too Faced guy's dog enough to buy the Clover palette, the Clover highlighter. I'm sure there's more Clover stuff coming. I'm sure, knowing Too Faced, there's probably a line of bronzers that are shade matched to Clover's different stool samples. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, that was a little mean. I'm sorry, okay? But really, like, what's to come? What is the limit with this dog? Like, I'm sure there's going to be more. So don't fall for it. It's just a marketing trick. Like, I get it. Dogs are cute. I love dogs. I have two dogs. I, if maybe one day, if I had a brand, I would have a dog bronzer, okay? I would call it the Teddy Bronzer and the Lucy Blush, and maybe you guys would buy it. But I mean, do they, I mean, is Too Faced is like such a big brand. Does everyone really know who Clover is? And is it necessary to keep like doing it over and over again? I personally don't think so. I think they should have just stopped with a palette. Oh, and then they did it with their Kat Von D collab too. Didn't they have like Clover and then Kat Von D's cat were like the mascots of that? Anyway. Okay. So the other thing that made me think of this was the Urban Decay Naked series. Oh my God. The Naked Palettes, The Naked Skin, The Naked Skin Concealer, uh, Naked, did they do like powders? I think they did Naked Powders. I mean the list is like so extensive and now they're doing a new foundation also called The Naked something that's supposed to be like a medium foundation. I just don't know why Urban Decay can't find something else to be their stick and like the fact that they just keep pumping out like naked palettes and like the original naked palette is an iconic palette and then they retired it and they fucking shat on it with the new um, reloaded palette. Oh my god that palette was so disappointing and I know that like my makeup taste is changing but I mean I don't hate neutrals because I still like neutrals. I bought the Natasha Denona Biba palette and like I feel like if you're gonna retire an iconic palette then make sure you're like reloaded is gonna like kick some ass. Don't like give me some shitty palette you know and be like here's some shades of dust that you can use. So yeah I wish Urban Decay would get away from the whole naked thing. I don't think like light coverage makeup is their vibe anyway. Urban Decay is known for being edgy as fuck and I don't know why they keep trying to make like basic palettes happen like come on like ColourPop is the most successful internet makeup brand like there was like a survey or article or something and Jeffree Star is number two both brands do crazy shit and I just don't know why Urban Decay is like hiding in its little cave like trying to pump out basic palettes when it should be out there fighting, fighting and making cool ass makeup that they used to be known for, you know? Okay, gosh, this is getting heated, you guys. I'm getting... Okay, so I wanted to talk about one more guy from Too Faced, okay, and that was the Too Faced Peach 
and fruity collections. They've been doing a lot of peach. They did sweet peach. They did regular peach. What else did they do? I don't know. They've done a lot of peach palettes, okay? And I'm pretty sure, oh, they did the little peach blush. And they did, it was a lot. Oh, and they did the peach lip oils. <laughs> There is so much. Insert pictures of peach things everywhere. Um, so we've all drowned in the peach. I know some people swear by their peach palette. I'm pretty sure I bought it and I returned it because it was so bad. I'm actually not one of those people that loves Too Faced. Like, I don't think I currently own any Too Faced products. There's just not a whole lot that I like from them. I don't love their eyeshadow palette formula. And I think that actually the chocolate, the gold chocolate bar was good. I forgot about that palette when I was talking about the chocolate. But um, that one has really good pigmentation. I did end up decluttering it, I think, um, because I did buy it when it first came out. And that had good formula and stuff. But, oh my god, the peach was so dry. And then they did, like, the baby peaches. And, yeah, they've done a lot of peach. So I hope they can find a new fruit. And now, actually, speaking of fruit, they've gone on to the fruity theme. And they did, like, the Tutti Fruity collection. And they did the eyeshadow palettes and blushes. And the glitter eyeshadows. And, like, a bunch of stuff. So I hope they can find some new themes to work on in 2020 because I feel like 2019 they're still gonna drag it out and you know it is what it is. The other so, thing I was thinking about that uh, is like a theme that has gotten beaten to death by a brand is definitely the Tarte Rainforest. Oh my gosh there's like Rainforest this, Rainforest that, Rainforest of the Sea. So they could do like a sea theme and there's the Rainforest of the Sea foundation and concealer and Oh my god, it was not ending and it still hasn't. I'm pretty sure you can find so much sea stuff on the Tarte website. I don't know if they've done anything new. Well, they did that like palette with the glitters and stuff um, that was sea themed, but I don't think that was tied to the um, rainforest lines. Um, but oh my god, I always see those circle palettes and they're always like rainforest of the something palettes and they're kind of like boring and I'm so over it and I wish Tarte would stop making them and I recently kept getting bombarded on YouTube with the BoxyCharm commercials and they're like oh my god this one's BoxyCharm box you get this eyeshadow palette from Tarte and I was like oh my god kill me now <laughs> like so over the Tarte rainforest of the sea situation okay so honorable mentions for brands that kind of do the same thing over and over again. Um, these ones aren't as serious as the ones I've already discussed, but um, the Beauty Blender, I feel like they keep doing the same shape in different colors, and I love their technology, so I wish they would try different shapes. Not that there's anything wrong with the egg, but I would love to see them try different sizes, different, well, they've done sizes, but I'd love to see them experiment with different shapes just to see how those pan out. Um, I remember there was that contouring sponge that Vera Mona did with Sephora and a lot of people really enjoyed using that for their contour so I think it would be fun if they tried to do some different shapes just see how it goes um, and you guys remember those baby beauty blenders that nobody could actually hold in their hands that they wanted people to use for under eyes oh my gosh do they make those still I don't know and then Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk I feel like this one is not as extensive as like the orgasms or the champagne pops of the world but it's pretty bad like she's got a eyeshadow palette she's got a lipstick she's got a lip liner she's got a blush um, but I feel like a lot of people have kind of asked for the pillow talk blush situation I don't I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of peachy pillow talk highlighter on its way because we know how much people love highlights uh, but yeah getting a little sick of that miss CT so if you get you know, slow down on the pillow talk stuff, that would be great. And then another brand I thought of, and this one I feel like has happened just like over time because, I mean, I feel like Estee Lauder and Double Wear is like, as soon as you say Double Wear, you don't even need to tell people it's Estee Lauder. People usually know that Double Wear, synonymous with Estee Lauder, is like the most amazing foundation, but then they have like, they try to do the bronzers and the eyeshadow palettes and like the highlighters and stuff like that. So I think it's very interesting that, you know, brands kind of find something and then they like milk it and milk it and milk it and then people are like sick of it. So I think there's always like a happy medium, but I just wanted to like ask you guys if you had noticed this in any particular brands. Definitely, I'm sure I missed so many. So leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I just wanted to do something different and just talk about something I had noticed. So if you like any of these products that I mentioned, like I'm not trying to be mean, I just thought it was funny. I have 
some of the products we just talked about. So it's not the end of the world. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye guys.